I am Tatar Khan and today we'll be continuing on playing Ox Must Die, completing each level from the first time at 5 skulls difficulty. Well, not difficulty, difficulty is a war mage, but uh, we're gonna be getting 5 skulls. Now the next level is called this uh, slash hole and uh, I haven't done any upgrades to any traps because uh, you only have 15 skulls and I'm looking for upgrades to the electrical trap that's on the ceiling or to these uh, floor scorchers because those two require 16 skulls. And uh, for that reason, we're gonna be using whatever we got right now as such. So, in order to get five skulls, so we need to make sure that we do not die, that no orcs make it through to the rift, and we kill all the orcs in a loaded time. Now, we are given for the first time here uh, the push trap, which is an interesting trap. And its uh, location here is actually kind of created so that uh, we can test it out, that uh, we can push uh, orcs into those, uh, that uh, band of acid. But the problem is that if orcs run here, the push trap will activate. But if the orcs run here, the push trap will not activate. So it's not always going to be working. And of course, if we look here, we're going to be facing normal orcs, the orcs with uh, crossbows, and we'll be facing ogres. And ogres, well, the push trap does not really do much to ogres. So there's that of a problem. Now, we also again have a situation where there's two doors. There's one door here, and we saw also the another door there but we also see that this door is not activated so we don't need to worry about it for that reason all the traps and everything will be need to be focused here we have a portal here at the bottom that's conveniently allowed us to travel between the two locations the two doors and we got two rifts here so let's go ahead and go from there so I'm gonna get the wind belt the alchemist satchel the wind belt will be used to push orcs into this vents the alchemist satchel will be used here on this uh, small space here will allow us to kind of use the, the bombs here to deal with the orcs now if you notice there is some ceilings available to us in this in this level three here so we can put ceiling traps just in case if orcs do make it all the way here we don't want to have them make it there but maybe that will happen so first of all we'll take the tar traps We'll take the arrow wall traps because uh, the arrow walls can be set up in this areas, right straight parallel to what uh, the works path is. Pretty good. And finally, we're also going to put up the ceiling trap, the scorchers, and the archers. For the archers, we have uh, this uh, little balcony here that's conveniently located down this in this area right here, where we can put in the archers to shoot at the enemies here. Okay, so. From the very beginning, let's start off by closing up this area here. We don't want the orcs to be able to make it through here. So we're going to put some traps here, we're going to slow them down. And we're going to go ahead and put another scorcher on this side, and off they go. We're going to grab the ultimate satchel immediately, and we're going to keep that to deal with orcs as they want us to buy the scorchers. So now, what we want to do is we want to slow the orcs down a bit more, so we're gonna add more uh, tower traps here, and off we go again. So the orcs are coming at us. Uh, here it's a lot of distance. Good, we dealt with this one. So, next thing is that because uh, we are here and also there, we're gonna put in our uh, first traps here. We're gonna put in a uh, trap to slow them down on this area. And uh, back we go with the. With the Alchemist Satchel, we always go with the Alchemist Satchel. Alright, 
done. So now we're going to be facing a new issue here, as usual, after the break. This door has to just activate. So that means we have to be facing this door. At the same time, we need to continue to protect this area just in case the orcs keep coming through this area. So how do we do that? Well, that's where the archers come in at this little nice balcony. So put up the archers onto the balcony. Uh, we have enough money for the six archers, so we're gonna use up all the money for that. There we go, we got six archers. And we're putting them on this end because we do have a bit more traps on that uh, area. Good. So, done. Off we go. Go ahead and switch to the uh, acid bomb here. This one will be approved, so we just want to go ahead and do it manually with him. Uh, and at the same time, we need to look up the me map and see that the works are not coming through. Otherwise, that's going to be a problem now. We don't cease to be having an issue with the works yet. So, but. Just in case, let's put even more archers to protect that area. And we're gonna wait. And throw it with another one. Ooh, there we go, we're done. Now we're gonna need to keep an eye out again, just in case they want to kind of do that area. They're not seems to be. Alright, good. We got them all here. Let's go back. It seems to be so far orcs are being only coming up through one door, but that's you know that's not gonna hold. I'm pretty sure. So let's uh, add a few more archers here for defense purposes, right? And let's enhance our defenses on this side. We do so by putting up a few more of our bulls here. We're going to add another torture here. This will hold off the works, hopefully. And uh, the arrow wall will be also useful. And we go back. So, let's uh, get to this. Uh, and it looks like the works are only coming through that the door now. Only one door. So we're back at it. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's help them out here. And it looks like the orcs are not coming back to one door, they are coming to two doors. So we need to now rescue the situation a bit here and deal with the, with the orcs this way. So now that uh, we have this uh, situation built to us, time to add more traps and back we go here. So Again, orcs are not uh, coming through here. Back to here we go. Uh, Never mind, orcs are coming through. Coming through the other door else again. So it's that early then before. And there you go. We also this one. Uh, any more? Nope. Nope, there's more coming through. So, but we gotta keep an eye out, uh, just in case our defenses on the other side do not fall. We gotta keep our eye out there so that uh, we can make sure that uh, we're doing, uh, well, we're holding off the works there on that side. So, let's put it in here. Let's put in a scorcher here in the middle because it has a wider arc of firing. And I think I it anything correctly but uh, you got the water coming through so I don't have time to correct anything there right now and due to lack of space I do have to slow down the work here over that I usually don't do you got a point done okay so the robots went to here but uh, Good, uh, now we are controlling the enemies here. And we got a mover uh, going through here. Uh, 
And there you go, five skulls. The bit of you know running around is required. Uh, you, I would love to have placed the squash a bit more correctly, but I didn't because again I was rushing because I was also coming through different uh, locations. But still, it's possible to do it on five skulls, and we still have pretty much uh, a lot of time here. And with this, we're doing it from the like very first time, right? We can say that yeah, I do know where the doors are going to come through to us the other areas, but I'm reacting to that first the way, same way I reacted when the first time I played through the level, seeing that there's no orcs coming through, therefore rushing back only when I see that on the mini map orcs are coming through. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it, and please subscribe.